Here at Highlands Country Club, we have three croquet lawns. Croquet became popular here back in the late 90s when they did the golf course renovation here. They looked at it as like an amenity for the, just something else for the members. And at that time, people said, oh, you're crazy and all that. And in fact, it was people said they were so crazy, the club wasn't even going to buy it. So they, the, the, a couple members who were the, the, the powers that be at the time, they raised $65,000 between like four of them. And, uh, and one of our members, my former Green Committee chairman, met Bob Pinson, who owned Course Crafters, down on the uh, side of the road in Gainesville, Georgia, handed him a brown paper bag with $65,000, and it said, build the croquet lawn. This is built to USGA specs. Anything we do to the green, we do to these. The only difference is the height of cut. I learned, I learned early on that like croquet, because it was really a challenge with labor, getting somebody over here to mow these every day. What we started doing is only mowing three or four days a week, and I bumped the height of cut up to 180 instead of 125 like the rest of our greens. The strikers is what they're called. It's kind of a club within a club. It has become the largest so it's either the largest or second largest private croquet club in the United States. They'll, they'll meet out here, they have a thing called Wine and Wickets every um, Tuesday and Thursday night where they just drink wine and play croquet. Tons of tournaments and they'll, they'll do inner clubs with other clubs in the area. The greatest thing about it is that for like our members that are older and you know as we get members that, are, that can't even golf anymore it gives them something that the, uh, an amenity that they can come use the club it's been huge it's pretty impressive what they've done here